couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle improvisation lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video, I'm gonna share with you an awesome chord progression you can improvise upon for hours on end and create stunning music with minimum effort. And the chord progression is very simple. It's B minor, G, E minor, and F sharp, or F sharp seven, okay? And the minimum effort thing is first that you can use the thumb for the G bass note, three on the sixth string, okay? So you have your fingers free for soloing. But what I really mean is that the B minor scale has open strings all the way. So it's three to zero on the first and second strings. And then four to zero on strings three, four, and five. And three to zero on the sixth. Okay, we're basically gonna use strings one, two, and three for our improv, but it never hurts to know the rest of the scale. Okay, and um, Let's start. I'm gonna try to switch from teacher mode to creative mode and improvise an example so we can talk about it and see our options. And as you'll see, it doesn't take anything complicated or fancy or very, very technical to create really beautiful music using this chord progression because the chords practically blend into each other. So. just using the scale and open strings. Now, um, you can also just use the bass notes and the notes of the scale. See, you don't even have to use the chords per se. But the idea here is that these chords work so well together that almost everything you're gonna do solo-wise is gonna work, even if you use notes that are natural to that chord. For example, on G, you can use the two and four on strings four and five. See, works really great. gives the G chord a really unique aspect. Also to the E minor. See? Just using the slides to fours on strings five, three, and four, and using open strings in the middle. Okay. And also hammering on. And you don't even have to go that far. You can just use the chords notes. Open the E string and then use that same note as transition to G. And then okay, you can just use strings one, two, three, and six, and then you have your hand free for soloing. Okay, you can use um, chord notes on other chords. Meaning that, for example, you can take 3-2-3 three, three on the second string and play it on all the chords and it would sound great. Okay, creates an augmented chord there that leads us back to B minor. So, um, I don't want to put too many ideas in your head so you don't imitate my playing. So um, I'm just gonna play another example and I'll let you go improvise. Okay, there's nothing much to say here but that this chord progression is amazing. So I'll just improvise another example and start with a different rhythmic pattern. Oh, 
by the way, I just noted, uh, noticed that I played the F sharp using my thumb. Remember, open strings all the way. Okay, as long as you have the right bass note in place, you don't really have to put on the rest of the chord because the scale has open strings. You have nothing to worry about. So that's also an option. The F sharp on the bass string, on two, on the sixth string. And also, very important note, you don't have to play these four chords in this sequence all the time. You can um, mess them up. You can play um, F sharp, G, E minor, G, B minor, and these four chords really work well together. So try any sequence you like and see what you come up with. Remember when I thought I was done with the lesson? myself there uh, so I brought it to a screeching halt otherwise it could go on all day which is exactly what I told you at the beginning of this lesson so uh, I'll let you go and improvise now so uh, have fun and I'll see you in the next lesson bye for now thanks for watching <laughs>